Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays GeoGuessr. Let's play. You have an unfinished game. I would like to start new. Just so people know I'm not using a seated run. I clicked uh, on the wrong link and uh, accidentally started the game before recording, so that's why I started a new one here. No conspiracy theory necessary. Did you see that time that I thought I was in Australia, but was actually in the Midwestern United States? So, this is a bit of a tricky one. It seems like we are driving on the left side of the road, but in fact, I believe this is a two-lane highway that runs in both directions. Hopefully, although no, double yellow line indicates, yeah, double yellow line usually indicates that um, this is like uh, one would be going this way, one would be going this way. I'm not sure though, I'm hoping, like I have no idea where we are right now, let's just use our arrow keys because I hate messing around with the mouse interface in the game. Um, we'll, we'll check out this water tower and this will give us an indication. Step one is figuring out whether we're in the United States of America or Australia. I'm thinking the US right now. Is that a big American flag on this water tower? Well, ain't that America, you and me? What did that, where, where did the water tower go? We were right next to it. I mistakenly like double clicked and now it's left in my fucking dust. Alright, come back here. That was some valuable information on that water tower. It's a big American flag and then on the other side of it, it said like city of something. Or like county of something. Alright, let's stop like here. City of El town of Elmer? Selmer. Oh, crap. We're in the town of Selmer. How could I possibly have not gotten that right away? It's not even a city. I know a lot of American cities. I've lived, you know, within 100 kilometers of the American border for like my whole life. Uh, I have no idea where we are in the United States. Selmer. Let's just guess Kansas for now and take a quick look. There's Salina. The town of Selmer. See, not all of the GeoGuessr stuff is screened for like noteworthiness, which I actually prefer because sometimes if you if you play some of the special GeoGuessr seeds, you're like, there's the Empire State Building, we're in New York City. You know, there's Versailles, we're in Paris. And it's just like it's a little too easy. I kind of prefer being put down in no offense if you live in the town of Selmer, but a little bit of a less noteworthy town, at least for most people, and uh, trying to figure out where the hell we are. Now, in order for this to work, it would be very helpful to me if we could perhaps find some signs. Just gotta hold the button down for like 10 minutes here. All the signs say is like stop. Or like the lanes are changing. Okay, this this could be a good start. Why did you pass the truck so quickly, you asshole? I can't read the sign. Does this say ice? Look, here's what I'm getting out of this. Something's Ice Arlington, Texas is the best that I can do here. I think it's Arlington. That would at least give us a place to start with here. I don't know, that could say womp 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 womp. Like, I don't know, Acapulco, Mexico or something. It starts with an A, it looks like to me. Or Albuquerque, New Mexico, maybe. Uh, or maybe it's like something Tennessee. That could be TX or TC. Or TN, sorry, that's what I meant. Let's try to... Is it Amarillo? No. Arlington. Where the where the hell is Arlington? Is there an Arlington, Texas? I just immediately assumed after I saw it. I was like, yeah, it's Arlington, Texas right there. There's a Harlingen. Angleton. I don't think it's Angleton. It's got like a G-T-O-N or something. This is a G-L-E-T-O-N. Well, let's take a look. We might, what, what does it hurt? What was the other one? Selmer. The town of Selmer. You really got an area in Houston called Sugarland. All right. So there's a town of Sulphur. I, I'm not sure I'd necessarily want to live there. Um, where's the Chattahoochee again? Way down yonder by the Chattahoochee. Admittedly, I have no idea. Texas, you know, large state. Much respect where, where respect is um, due. I have no idea where where Arlington is. It's got to be near like one of the other cities, right? 
is near Midland. Selmer, Stanton, Big Spring. That ain't fat. Why is Colorado City not in Colorado? Colorado City, Texas. What is wrong with people? Arl oh, Arlington, okay. Is uh, is the town of Semper, Selmer, Selmer near here? Let's get a little in closer. East Arlington, AT&T Stadium. Well, let's assume that we're in the region here somewhat, but not actually in the area. So, you know, I'm thinking we're down here maybe. Selmer. Not too far away. Grandview, Cleborne, Keene, Joshua, Godley, Aletto, Benbrook, Southwest Arlington, Everman. We get a little deeper still. Mansfield, Venus. Is this Selmer? Selmer around here? God damn you, Texas. All right, but this is all operating under the assumption that we're in and around Arlington somewhere. Where is it? Okay, so it was like Dallas. There we go. Arlington's right here. Um, could it be slightly north of Arlington? Bedford? Uh, it's way too close to the airport. Richland Hills? All right. I might be totally wrong, but I'm willing to take a crack at it. Um, I'm going to say we're a little bit further away from Arlington, but close enough. Let's say we're like, we're like around here. Tough guess. Oh, it was Tennessee. It was, there's Selmer. What did it, what kind of Tennessee was it? Like, I'm trying to find, a, think of a Tennessean city that starts with A. Maybe it didn't start with A, maybe it was Memphis or something. Beats me. Anyway, we were pretty close, all things considered. I can't be too mad about that. Woody's Discovery. Minavien. Sinol Biav. E. E. Okay. What top level domain is E. E.? You would imagine that it would be a country that starts with E. I hope. Um, oh, okay, so choco pie is like a Korean food. So at first I was thinking, ah, no, this this has to be in Europe, but like an exported version. Okay, so that's Russia. Choco pie is Japanese, I think, but EE. -E. So my thinking is like, okay, there's a Russian top-level domain there. EE -E, uh, means maybe Estonia. Estonia over here in northeastern Europe borders Russia and you know this looks like it could be northern Europe northern Europe was kind of my my first guess I wish I can get a little bit more that would a little bit more contextual clues you know we'll see some signs coming up and some vehicles I see that sign on the left that blue sign coming up is probably gonna be the most effective for us we we could be in Russia as well EE, -E, for all I know, EE -E could be Ukraine, it could be Kazakhstan, I don't know. Alright. St. Petersburg, 566 kilometers away. St. Petersburg is like up, yeah, right there. 566 on the E105. That's the E20. Is there, are there E highways that run... Let's just e okay. There's the E105 right here. Let's follow it. What the heck? It goes like down here as well. Let's follow it. E105. We could be in Russia, but I think we're not. Oh they, no, it's still there. My assumption was that we were we were outside of it, but where are we going now? Down into Kazakhstan. We gotta be honest. I'm I'm I know I mentioned Kazakhstan earlier. I'm not very uh, confident that it is Kazakhstan. What about, okay, in in St. Petersburg, where does the 105 go? Does it come out the other side here somewhere? It becomes the M20. The other way is the M10. Where's the M10 here? Well away down yonder by the St. Petersburg. No, nah, it doesn't really work. 
Um, is this still the 105? Could we possibly be taking a bridge from like over here? That's just another part of... Okay, it's 566 kilometers away. To the upper left. Let's just take a quick look around. There is the 105. Let's at least make a decision for country. I think we're going to have to go with Russia. Because this is Cyrillic. And I'm going to have to abandon our Estonian option. And Western Russia seems to make sense. There's a lot more .rus here. Alright, so we're in Russia. We're going to St. Petersburg. It's 500 kilometers away. It could be Viborg. Oh, what was it? It was the 105, E-105. Could it be like, um, could it be over here? Or would it be down here? What is up with this road? Like, I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to guess that we're in the first city south of St. Petersburg with a 105 connecting to it. Which, for us, is, could that be 500 kilometers? I, let me, let me, to approximate that, let me look at the distance between, like, Toronto and Montreal. Boop, 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 boop. That's, like, roughly 600 kilometers. You know, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that we're in Novgorod. Let's give it a try. We ended up being 365 kilometers away. So actually, I wasn't far enough away. We were actually closer to Moscow. Which I should have thought because there was English on the sign. Maybe a little bit more traveler friendly in, in the bigger cities, I guess. You know, by having multiple languages on the sign. Still, relatively pleased with that. Uh, immediately, thinking Norway. Red houses, man. The red house rule. Like, red house equals Scandinavia so often. I'm not fully sold on it yet. Because these houses are a little bit like reddish brown, you know? It doesn't quite uh, doesn't quite fit the bill. Where do you think? That way? Or this way? I think that, that looks like it goes deeper into the mountains. People tend to be on the coast a little bit more, so... Let's try to come down here and hopefully we'll find some, some signs or some mailboxes or something like that. Maybe perhaps a bed and breakfast. Uh, cars. Cars help. There's a lot of red houses here, you got to admit. Let's go just a little bit forward. It's definitely like a European vehicle. Um, now, admittedly, there's a lot of places this could be. But the Scandinavian red houses, red roofs thing doesn't end up backfiring too often. Just want to see if this is anything at all here. There's no words on it. There's no words on it! What does that mean to play us out? So let's just, uh, I'm gonna travel a little faster forwards here because I'm looking for signs in all the wrong places. Okay, well that actually helps. We know for sure that we can't be in uh, southern Europe. Or it would be like a, a really unlikely event to be in Southern Europe. Let's put it that way. So I think Norway is starting to feel like a pretty good idea. Probably more along the lines of Southern Norway. But I, I would like to, you know, get a, get a glimpse of some signage. To at least see some letters, you know. The way that I try to differentiate Norway from Sweden, from Finland, here's my rule. If there's a lot of V's in the word, it's more likely to be Finnish. If there are a lot of umlauts, perhaps more likely to be Swedish. And if there are a lot of those O's with the line through them, tend to go Norwegian on that. So a single sign could really help us out. Buvikfrol. That tells me... So there's two V's in it, admittedly, but it's not like the same kind of structure that I would imagine for most Finnish words, which doesn't mean it's not a Finnish town. It just means that uh, it doesn't fit the bill. I was looking for some, like, yes, V's, but also, like, double A's, 
AI combinations, you know, Toivonen, stuff like that, Koivu, Vaninen, Vanin. I'm just listing Finnish hockey players now. If I saw like a picture of Timu Solani, I would be like, oh, I'm pretty sure we're in Finland right now. But I don't see a picture of Timu Solani, much to my chagrin. Let's take a corner here. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Even if sometimes when I click on it and it loads in, it breaks my brain a little bit. Okay, there's a town. We're going to go to this town. And hopefully, as a result of going to this town, we'll learn a little bit. Looking for some, some lettered signs. Nice trampoline dog. You get good air on that thing. Okay. Flags? I see a flag. This is of the utmost importance. That looks like the Norwegian flag. That is Norway. Okay. So that solves our problem. And it was like Bukuksvril. Which I'm assuming... Let's assume that it has to be on the coast. And we'll just follow the Norwegian coast a little bit. Something. Bukuksvril. Bukuksvril. Like V-I-L. It might not necessarily be um, be a mountain, or sorry, be uh, the coast. It could be like an ocean as well. Or sorry, <laughs> it might not necessarily be the ocean. It could be um, a lake. There's plenty of fjords up in here, though. See, I told you, lots of O's with the circle through them. I have no idea what road we're on. It's it's majestic. You gotta have a little bit more patience than I unfortunately do to do this. Norway, why are you so dense with coastline? It makes it very difficult to tell what's up here. What is this island then? It's not part of Norway? It's like cut off here. Or maybe this isn't part of Norway. Is that, it's not part of Sweden, no. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it quits. I'm going to say that we're probably near Trondheim. That's just the best guess. I don't have anything better to offer. Uh, let, let's take one town over, basically. It, the problem is, like, you, like, you know, make a decision where you could just be, like, definitely wrong. Because you don't see the name of the place that you're looking for. Which makes me feel like a real asshole. Sure, we're in Brekstad. Is that like roughly? Norway's pretty tall. I'm going to take it. 750 kilometers. Where was it close to then? It was on one of the... It was near Trondheim. Ah, that's exactly like where I was going to pick. I'm very mad at myself right now. But still, I feel like we did all right there. Given the circumstances, this seems to be somewhere in Asia. Uh... I, I have a hard time sometimes telling whether we're in uh, China or Japan. I don't really know much of the distinctions between katakana, hiragana, stuff like that. But usually, I, I mean, it looks Japanese to me. So let's assume we're in Japan. And hopefully I'm not incorrect. Uh, and we'll just fashion clean. Okay, well, if there's English on the sign, you know, I lived in Korea. There's English on the sign. Maybe it was a place that has a like an American military base or a lot of uh, of expats living there. Something was that that something, something. That's a great name for a clothing store, actually. Okay. Banks are good. Dyson Bank. Banks oftentimes named for the place where you are. Kawaii Music School. Again, English signs. Makes me think, you know, we're in a tourist region or a region that is perhaps home to an American military base. You know, you might have uh, Ginza. It might have, uh, like, um, you know, children there of military families or a lot of tourists or English teachers. So I'm looking, oh, easy there, badass. I'm looking for some kind of, uh, some more words. Might be able to help me out. 
Let's just keep moving. Ads would help out a lot, maybe. Big I. Ginza. Is Ginza the name of a town or the name of a district? I should be looking at uh, Welcome. to get. Okay, so it's. I'm pretty sure the place is called Ginza. But it could be the district. What about the buses? Do the buses have a... Uh, I mean, we're getting further away from them. Ah, oh, this sign might help a lot. Okay. Kitunabi or Kitanabi Station. Or Kit... Kib, Kib, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get into Japan here. This is four of five. We're doing pretty poorly on this one. So we're looking for uh, Ginza Kitanabi Station. I mean, the station doesn't really help me out that much. What else? Ugigahama Sakamachi. I mean, this this is probably stuff that's just within the city. So, Ginza, Ginza, Ginza. Um, that's we're getting into Russia up here. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore a little bit more because honestly, I just don't know where we are. I'll just I'll own up to it. But I'm hoping we can see a sign that is like you know Tokyo, 300 kilometers in this general direction. Minato. That sounds familiar. I mean, I'm assuming we're entering like different parts of the city. Apparently, quickly. Okamoto Liquor Shop is Okamoto. I mean, that, I mean, this all sounds very familiar to me. There's Okayama. Just keeping it up here. I forgot the name of that station already. What about roads? Road signs would help us out a little bit. Maybe if I was facing the right direction, that might be better for us. But I don't want to lose all my progress that I made in this direction. Hmm. To be honest with you, uh, I don't like the direction we're heading here. Seems like we're getting a little bit away from the industry and into some, some back alleys. If the sun was not hitting that sign, we might be able to gleam some information out of that. G gleam some information out of that? Uh, it's not going to tell me too much. Alright, that is just... I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but that is straight up Japanese. London game. So we, we're either in Japan or England. I kid, I kid. Let's just keep moving it along here. I have faith that we'll get back to a, a city type region. There's a cleaning shop. If we could at least get the city right, I'd feel very, very happy about that. Ah, Family Mart. Been there many a time, actually. Not in Japan, but in Korea. Guess it's a Japanese convenience store. Chain? See, I'm learning learning something already. Okay, this could be useful. Ah, ah, come back. No, that's not it's a diamond. No, it was, I thought that was the diamond I was supposed to click on. So let's look for the 424 and the 31. There's the 32. Where's my 31s at? 30, I'm assuming it's 424. Yeah, it's like the diamond. Or the the octagon. Sorry, that's a that's a hexagon. But still, 31. We can find it. I have faith. Does not appear to be in Fukushima. Or Tokamachi. 31. You know what, before we get into like these roads around Tokyo, which are going to be very dense, why don't we just quickly check out uh, Hokkaido. 31. Hokkaido is going to be a little sparser, so I figured it would be worth... Oh, okay, that's Russia. <laughs> figured it would be worth checking that out first. 39. 38. I mean, it's possible 31 is just like a really, really small road. What's up with these like 424s? Yeah, that's more along the lines of what I'm looking for is, you know, seeing all those as well. 453. All right, let's come back into uh, mainland Japan. 446. We're looking for 31 or 424. This is kind of a cheap way to do it. I don't like doing things this way. 424. I mean, the problem is that a lot of these like roads are not ordered in a way that seems logical, although I'm sure it was when they did it, you know? I'm not trying to tell these urban planners how to do their jobs. 
Didn't we? It wasn't one of those like Shirakawa station. Or am I crazy? I think I might be a little crazy. Because I don't see... Oh, Shirahama. Shirahama's right ahead. Okay. Where was Shira... But this is Shirakawa. And that's Suka... I'm so confused. Okay. This is alright. Actually, let's go back for just a second here. This is a tough one for me. I don't want to tap out here. I'm trying to go back, but it doesn't... Okay, you know what? Keyboard. Correct. Good idea. All right, so we go forward, and then we zoom in on this sign. Tanabe City, Minato. Tanabe City. I don't think we're gonna see it if we're this far away. What are the numbers again? 31. Probably better off finding that. Oh, there's 32 down here. And 33. And 11. 31 has to be close. I refuse to believe that it's not here. There's 33, 32. Why is 31 not around here? Or is it? 4, 24. There's some 400s around here. 32 and 11. What about, is it over here? No, Kate, not now. I have to, I have to focus here. 31. Oh, I'm just playing like follow the line. I hate playing GeoGuessr like this. Let's stop being big babies about it. 31, 424. 31, 424. Just remember those numbers in case we gotta go back. City. Zero. Oh, city. Mr. Donut. Looks like a nice place. They have Coca Cola here. Really narrows it down. Appears there's like a. Italian restaurant over to the side. Sounds crazy. It's some of the best Italian food I've ever had was actually at this restaurant in Korea. There's Pachinko here. Okay. Got some bicycling going on. Where do you live? That sounds like a weird question to ask people you just find on the street. I mean, I think we've seen enough contextual clues. I just don't know where this is. And that... Um, you know, that, that sucks. Because it just highlights my, my ignorance of Japanese geography. Um, it's like, okay. Oslo Food and Cafe. Just looking for some more English signs of possible. DVD and games there. That car up here is freaking me out. I'm sure at this point I've missed something, like, really integral. I don't want to give up because I'm doing so bad. Lawson Station. Is that like a real station? That looks like a real sort of station. Is that a station or is that a convenience store? I mean, it just looks like a convenience store to me. Maybe Lawson Station is the name of a convenience store. Like how it has that like old-timey American font to it. Maybe we are in America right now. I don't know. There's a cockpit up here. There's Now it's just like, there's actually too much information. Uh, I'm going to have to choose. And I'm going to choose that we're around here. Okayama, isn't that where we were looking for? Has that been up here the whole time? Okayama, is that not where we were going? It was like 32, 424, 32, 424, 32, 424. It wasn't 32, it must have been 31. 31, 31, there's 30. Where's 32? Oh, 30. 31. 32. No, there's no 31. Where's 31? It's got to be around here. 27, 28. 96. 28. Look, this is taking forever. Okayama. That's where we are. We were not super far away. There is Tanabe down there. Is that, yeah, there's, no, I still don't see 32. How close do you have to, jeez. I still don't see it. Oh, there's, there's 32. Where are we looking for 30? I can't remember. It doesn't, whatever, okay? I lost that one. I got it in my own head. We still got a lot of points. 
Um, this is gonna this is not gonna be a great run for us, but uh, I've I've learned some stuff. Let's take a quick jaunt over to this sign. Thinking, you know, this feels like England right now, but it could be many. Okay, so it seems more like uh, France. It's kind of hard to tell what these signs say. Goncourt and Saint Etienne. Can we? Oh yeah, let's go into the city proper here. I'd like to read some signs. These signs are extremely helpful. First Front National pour la Normandie. So we're in the north of France. What did the other? It was like Saint Etienne. Normandy is like around here, I think. Oh, th this is, yeah, it's like here. Uh, I didn't mean to click on that, but let's zoom in. Maybe I got it really lucky. Um, let's see what else we can see. So we're somewhere in the north of France. It's very, very nice looking. This seems like a recipe for not getting much more information. Let's come back out here. I apologize for, for thinking it was English. My mistake. Maybe a little bit of a natural bias. I was hoping it was English so that I would know maybe what the sign said. What was the other? The other one might have been important as well. I've heard. Gournier Ombre. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just stick kind of close here. I'm very glad you found a tinted rock. We're in Belgium now. Um, hope you appreciate the kind of the slower pace of these videos. I like doing them. Ah, how did I not see this sign? Groomsnil and Jose. You know, to some extent, that makes me feel like maybe we're a little closer to like the German border. But we, I mean, just because of Grumsnil, I'm just going to say it the way I would say it. But I know it's like you wouldn't see a political sign probably for United Normandy Front outside of Normandy. Was it, didn't we see Gray before? Gray. Or was it Bray? I think it was Bray. So let's, let's not get thrown for false, like a false herring there. Red herring. Um, let's take a quick look into the city. There's plenty more signs up here. Never realize how much information we can gleam about ourselves on a uh, regular basis from just the signs around us. Oh, apparently we're in Vermont. I don't think we want to go down that way. We want to keep going straight ahead here. I'm just trying to, like my general rule, follow civilization. Hmm. Ideally, we find, if there's like a downtown to this village, we find that, find some restaurants, find some signs. I think we're just going to have to choose. Um, I think we're a small town in Normandy. Uh, well, where does, if in CK2, William, the Conqueror, starts like right here, and he is the Duke of Normandy... Uh, so let's, let's just go back for a second. We'll just head backwards, because there was a sign that said, like, don't go this way. Can we still see that sign? If I glance down? Oh, come on. I need... This freaking sun is, like, gleaming off it in a bad way. Is that an 8? Is It could be a 28. I don't know, it could be an A. It kind of looks like an A. It could be an N. I don't know. What am I, some kind of like a handwriting analyst? There we go, A28. Let's assume this is the A28. And we'll just follow this road. Till we find, what is this? Dudeville. Dudeville. Could be the D928 for all I know, but I don't think that has three digits there. Just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And then the road dies, huh? Okay, well, I'm going to say we're like right here. Seems okay to me. 
That was actually pretty good. We were a little closer to Paris, but hey. Uh, 19,241. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Messed up the Norwegian one. Messed up the Texas one. Did okay on Japan. Eh, messed up all of them just a little bit. We could have easily gotten a lot more points there. But anyway, that was uh, I'm relatively pleased with that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll, of course, I'll put the seed in the video description. I hope you were playing along with me. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Like the video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. Goodbye.